Today I'm going to show you how to create an incident on the SAP One Support Launchpad. So let's get started. You'll first need to log in the SAP One Support Launchpad with your S user ID and password. Then click on the tile Find a Solution. Before you open an incident, you may want to find a solution yourself by carrying out a search out of our knowledge base using the search box at the top of your screen. You can narrow down the results by using the filters, like the components, to get more relevant results. The system will also suggest possible solutions to review from other sources like the community or wiki pages. If you don't find a solution for your issue, you can create an incident. Click on Contact SAP Support button at the bottom of your screen. This launches the Reports and Incident form, which we will take a look at now. You can start by selecting the affected product and installation. Hit Search to display and select the system where you are encountering the issue. Once you have selected the system, you can select the language. Now I'll explain each text box in more details. You then need to choose the priority depending on the urgency of your issue. For more details, you can check out the note linked. In the subject line, you can enter a brief description of your issue. In the description box, you can explain your issue in more details and provide all the technical information. Select a component to send your incident to the relevant area of expertise. The system will suggest components relevant to your SAP landscape. If you know what component to create the incident under, you can enter this in the component box. If you don't know this, you can search for components using keywords like your product name. SAP is now offering expert chat support for specific product components. If expert chat is available, a start chat button will appear next to the submit button. You can click on start chat and you'll be connected with a product support expert who can provide real-time support for your issue. Here you can provide the steps on how the issue can be reproduced. Here you are required to provide the business impact information if you create the incident on high or very high priority. This will explain how the issue is impacting your business and allow us to prioritize your incident. For further details, you can check the note linked. If you need to share files or screenshots to help the resolution, there is an option to upload an attachment to the incident. To do so, click on the plus symbol and follow the steps on screen. Contact information by default, your S user ID contact information is added to the incident as the reporter. You can always add additional people to contact if needed. For very high, a 24 hours contact is required. As you add contacts, they will automatically all receive notification of any updates in the incident. Click on the search box and choose an existing S user from your contact list. If a processor needs to access your system, you will need to open the connection and update the logon data in the secure area of the incident. Finally, when you have entered all the required information, click Submit in the lower right corner to send the incident to SAP. If you're not ready to send the incident now, click Save as a draft on the lower left side and you can send it later from your draft incident application. To sum up, you can try to find a solution. Otherwise, you can send your incident to SAP by selecting the affected system, entering a step-by-step -step description of your issue, and selecting the appropriate component. Thank you for watching this video and stay tuned for more support videos.